KATC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. After a sun-filled afternoon across Acadiana, we began to see some clouds move in across the region. That's all thanks to Irma as it continues to move up into the Tennessee and then continues to move up into the Ohio Valley as we go throughout our Wednesday. So the clouds are the first change we're going to see to the forecast as we go throughout the week. And then we're also going to start to see that humidity make its way back in. Right there on the satellite and radar, you can see what's left of Irma is now making its way through Memphis and into the Tennessee area. Right here is the center of the circulation with the clouds and rain moving in around it. And you can see on the back side, we have all that cloud cover beginning to now stream in across our region here in Acadiana. We had a few light showers back through Monroe and over towards Shreveport, but that moisture kind of fell apart before it made its way into Acadiana. So we didn't see any of the rain, but we are seeing that cloud cover make its way in. And that clouds are going to continue to make their way all the way out to the Gulf of Mexico as we go through the overnight hours. So I expect everyone to see the cloud cover. You can see some of our southeastern communities still dealing with clear skies, but those clouds will be making their way in rather short shortly and should be with us by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. But as I mentioned, not only are we seeing the clouds, we're seeing some extra moisture in our dew points going up. As you can see this afternoon, dew points were in the seven or fifties. It felt very comfortable, but now we're seeing those dew points make their way into the mid sixties. It's a little bit more noticeable out there, especially if you stepped outside within the last couple hours, you've probably noticed it getting a little bit on the humid side, and that's going to be the story as we go through the coming days. Over the last week or so, we've had those dew points in the fifties and lower sixties. It's been very pleasant to be outside, but now we're beginning to see that climb a little bit. As I mentioned, right now we're at 65, so it is beginning to get a little bit more noticeable. You're maybe feeling it a little bit, and then as we go in the coming days, we're going to start to see those dew points make their way back up to 70, and then eventually getting up to around 75 by this weekend. It is going to start to feel awful oppressive and really feel like the dog days of summer once again. So we're not completely done with summer just yet. It looks like we're going to have a few more days or weeks of that in the coming weeks, but then things should begin to improve as we he hopefully head into the month of October. So here we go through the rest of this evening. Clouds streaming in across the region, so we'll be waking up to the cloud cover tomorrow morning. So I don't think you'll need the sunglasses as you head off to work for your Wednesday. But as we go throughout the afternoon, clouds will gradually begin to clear out and we should see a good bit of sunshine. So you might need those sunglasses, though, for the drive home tomorrow evening. I do think we will stay dry for our Wednesday. Then as we head into our Thursday with skies clear to begin the day, We'll see plenty of sunshine throughout the afternoon and with that sun, we'll see those temperatures start to warm up as it is going to start to feel downright hot and humid as we head throughout Thursday afternoon. Highs in the upper 80s feeling like the mid 90s and it just get worse from there as we head into Friday and then into the weekend. The other issue that we're going to have to contend with on Friday, as you can see by Friday morning, already starting to see a little bit of that moisture make its way into the Gulf of Mexico. And then some of that could begin to make its way up and across to Cadiana as we go throughout the afternoon and early evening. Right now, only looking to be about a 20% chance for some showers. So I do look, think Friday night football this coming week should be good to go. No real concerns with that, which is the good news. Out in the Atlantic, Hurricane Jose still going at 75 miles per hour as a low level category one storm at that. As it's now moving to the south and southeast at nine miles per hour, it will then gradually begin to do a loop in the coming days. By Friday, still hanging on to a Category 1 hurricane, maybe then starting to fall to a tropical storm as we head towards the weekend as it begins to make its way back up to the north and northeast. It's going to run into a little bit more of that shear, which will kind of eat away at it and kind of cause it to get downgraded. And then as we move beyond that, it does look like the models are actually trying to shift it back to the west a little bit, which would put it closer to America. But right now, it still seems like it should stay out over the open waters and cause no real issues for us here in America. So well, the last cool night in store for us is we'll still be about 5 to 10 degrees below average as we'll be around 64 for an overnight low with those clouds beginning to make their way in. We'll start off with those clouds, but by the afternoon seeing plenty of sunshine, a little bit on the muggy side, 87 degrees for an afternoon high. As I mentioned, the warming trend continues 89 Thursday into the lower 90s by Friday in this weekend with a 20% chance for a few showers with us. And then as we move into the following week, the 90s continue. So the summer light conditions look like they're going to be here to stay for some time, along with a slight chance for some showers each day. All right, Eric, thanks. And still ahead on KTC, Apple unveiled.